me, it was a battle of education. It wasn't about putting my fist up, going to fight when my friends called me a nerd. It was just simply beating them cerebrally. When people used to say that, hey, dumb jock, I hate that term. And it saddened me to see people say these things about uh, athletes. That was my motivation. And it was all fighting against a story that I read about an NFL player that couldn't read. And I was in high school, and I walked into a teacher's class. And typical me, I'm comfortable being the only minority in a class full of whites and honors classes. And she asked me, was I lost? No, I'm not lost. This is the room, and I showed her my schedule. And she said, OK, you sure you're supposed to be in here? I said, yes, ma'am, I am. And she said, OK, you're going to sit right in front of me. And I said, well, is this open seating? And she said, yes, but my seating chart, you're going to sit in front of me. And I took that as a jar. I'm going to sit in front of you. I said, but I want to tell you this. I'm going to be the smartest person in your classroom. I said, I'm not going to cheat. I said, by the end of the, end of the year, people are going to be cheating off me. I said, I'm not intimidated by this. I've been fighting this my whole life. And she said, what is that? I said, the only minority in a class full of whites, I said, and I play football. I said, you're going to either like me or you're going to hate me because you're going to see me every single day. And she's become one of my, my better friends throughout the years. And she tells the same story about how she caught kids cheating off me. I did not let it in, infuriate me. If anything, it motivated me to be the best student athlete I possibly can. And that has really transcended into what I do today in, in terms of motivating youth and my involvement with education.